today we are going to discuss a clustering evaluation technique called purity. It is a supervised technique for evaluation. That means you need the algorithmic clustering outcome and benchmark levels to compute purity. In the rest of the video, I am going to use my neural voice. Purity is a clustering evaluation technique that checks how well an algorithm groups data points into clusters by comparing the algorithmic clusters to a standard or ground truth grouping. To do this, we look at each cluster created by the algorithm and identify which ground truth group it matches best with. The best match for an algorithmic cluster is identified by detecting the ground truth cluster that has the maximum data point overlap with the algorithmic cluster. Essentially, purity tells us how pure the algorithm created clusters are compared to the ground truth labels. I will describe the detailed formula soon. For now, let's say that purity is calculated by adding up the number of points in each algorithm created cluster that match the most with a ground truth cluster and dividing this summation by the total number of points. Before we go for the details, here's an example. We have 12 data points. That is, in the original data table, we have 12 rows. These two boxes have the same 12 data points. I have drawn two boxes for the same data set because in one box, I will present the algorithmic clusters, that is the clusters that were provided by an algorithm. And in another box, I'm presenting the ground truth clusters. So practically these two boxes have the same points. The black circles represent the data points. The box at top has the clustering result of an algorithm. Let it say that an algorithm created these two clusters, cluster 1 and cluster 2. The ground truth is saying that the points are clustered this way. This is cluster 1 and this is cluster 2. The same points in these two boxes are connected by lines for easy reference. Notice that 5 points of cluster 1 of the algorithm match with cluster 2 of ground truth. Only one point of cluster 1 of the algorithm matches with cluster 1 of the ground truth. Hence we consider that cluster 1 of algorithm is mostly cluster 2 of ground truth. Five points are common between them, so we have five here. Cluster 2 of the algorithmic clusters has six points in the ground truth cluster 1. None of the points of cluster 2 of the algorithm is seen in cluster 2 of the ground truth. We can say that cluster 2 of the algorithmic clustering is actually cluster 1 of the ground truth. Hence, six points that are common between cluster 2 of the algorithm and cluster 1 of the ground truth are considered a match in the numerator. The denominator has the total number of points, that is 12 data points, or 12 black circles, in each of these boxes, representing the data. 5 plus 6 in the numerator is equal to 11, therefore purity is 11 by 12. Here's the equation for purity. Let me explain it. We have k algorithmic clusters, c1, c2, up to ck. So these are clusters created by a clustering algorithm, such as k-means, or hierarchical clustering, or db-scan. Consider that each cluster contains indices of the rows of the original data table. That is, here, a cluster is a set of row indices referring to row identifiers of the data that the clustering algorithm is clustering. Now consider that the ground truth has t clusters for the same data. The ground truth clusters are g1, g2, up to gt. These are the expected clusters, or correct clusters, or benchmark clusters determined in advance. Ground truth clusters are also sometimes called gold standard. The goal is to check how much of k algorithmic clusters follow the gold standard or the ground truth. Just like the RAND index that we discussed earlier and linked in the description below, the purity evaluation will not work if you do not have ground truth labels for the data set. Okay, we have k clusters detected by the algorithm. We have t clusters stated by the ground truth. k can be equal to t or different than t. That is, the number of clusters determined by the algorithm can be different than the number of clusters you have in the ground truth. The formula for purity measures how pure the algorithmic clusters are in terms of the gold set clusters. By the word pure, I mean this. If points in an algorithmic cluster come from multiple ground truth clusters, then the algorithmic cluster is less pure compared to an algorithmic cluster that has points entirely coming from exactly one ground truth cluster. In the example that we discussed a minute ago, 
Cluster 2 derived by the algorithm is pure because all its points are found in exactly one ground truth cluster. However, cluster 1 discovered by the algorithm is not as pure as cluster 2. Why? Cluster 1 is not 100% pure because cluster 1's points come from two ground truth clusters. Therefore, in this context, cluster 2 of the algorithm is purer than cluster 1. Let us get back to the equation. Here, we have an intersection between the ith algorithmic cluster and the jth ground truth cluster. This intersection gives you the data points, or the row indices, that are common between the ith algorithmic cluster and the jth ground truth cluster. We take the length of that intersection. That is, the intersection length is giving us how many data points are common between the ith algorithmic cluster and the jth ground truth cluster. We maximize this intersection length over all ground truth clusters for each algorithmic cluster CI. The maximum intersection lengths for all the algorithmic clusters are summed up to get the numerator of the equation. We divide the sum by the total number of points, n, in all clusters. This normalizes the measure, making it a fraction between 0 and 1. A higher purity indicates that the algorithmic clusters closely match the gold set clusters. This means that most elements in each algorithmic cluster belong to one ground truth cluster, and hence algorithmic clusters are pure. A lower purity indicates that algorithmic clusters do not closely match with exactly one cluster. Rather, algorithmic clusters match with multiple ground truth clusters, and hence less pure. In essence, Purity tells us the proportion of correctly grouped data points in the algorithmic clustering, with respect to the ideal grouping represented by the gold set. One critical item to note here, a purity of 1.0 means that the algorithmic clusters are pure. That does not necessarily mean that against each algorithmic cluster, we have a unique cluster match in the ground truth. Here's an example. Let us say that we have 15 points. We have three clusters discovered by the algorithm. Our ground truth have two clusters. Notice that the five points of the first cluster C1 of the algorithm are entirely present in the first cluster G1 of ground truth. That is, C1 is fully pure because C1's points come from exactly one cluster. Similarly, C2's five points are all found in G1, hence C2 is also fully pure. Finally, the points of algorithmic cluster C3 are all found in exactly one ground truth cluster, G2, hence C3 is also fully pure. Since all C1, C2, and C3 are fully pure, the purity score is 1.0, even though algorithmic clustering has three clusters and ground truth clusters have two clusters. Doing is believing. So let's apply the formula to see if we really have 1.0 purity. The intersection between C1 and G1 is 5 because 5 points are in common. The intersection between C1 and G2 is 0 because no points are in common between them. Hence, we will take the max of 5 and 0, which is 5. The intersection between C2 and G1 is 5, because 5 points are in common. The intersection between C2 and G2 is 0, because no points are in common between them. Hence, we will take the max of 5 and 0, which is 5. Now, the intersection between C3 and G1 is 0, because no points are in common. The intersection between C3 and G2 is 5, because 5 points are in common between them. Hence, we will take the max of 0 and 5, which is 5. In the numerator, we have 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is 15. Note here that we have 15 points in total. So, in the denominator, we have 15. Therefore, 15 divided by 15 is 1.0. For this scenario, the purity is 1.0, even though the clusters do not exactly match. As I said, purity measures how pure the clustering result is given a ground truth. It's not exactly about cluster matching. Let us take a look at another example, but this time with the outcome of an algorithm and the ground truth labels. There are 14 numbers in the algorithmic cluster output. That means the original data table on which the clustering algorithm was applied has 14 rows. Against each row of the data, we have a cluster assignment. Our cluster assignments are 1, 2, and 3, indicating that we have three clusters determined by the algorithm. The ground truth also has three clusters. The three cluster labels in the ground truth are A, B, and C. That is, the 14 rows of the data have these 14 ground truth labels. We will compute the purity of the algorithmic clustering in reference to this ground truth. Okay, let us take cluster 1 of the algorithm, 
That will be the places where we have 1. We will check how many of these four ones have a's in exact indices of ones to figure out the intersection. In the four exact positions, we have only one a. Therefore, the intersection between cluster one of the algorithm and cluster a of ground truth is just one. Let us figure out the intersection of algorithmic cluster one and ground truth cluster b. That is, we count how many of the four ones have b's in exact indices of ones to figure out the intersection. In the four exact positions, we have three b's. Therefore, the intersection between cluster one of algorithm and cluster b of ground truth is just three. Now, let us figure out the intersection of algorithmic cluster one and ground truth cluster c. That is, how many of the four ones have c's in exact indices of ones? None. There is no c in any of the four positions in ground truth. Therefore, the intersection between algorithmic cluster 1 and ground truth cluster C is 0. The maximum intersection between cluster 1 of algorithm and three clusters of ground truth is 3. We can say that cluster 1 of the algorithm has maximum overlap with cluster B of ground truth, and hence cluster 1 of the algorithm is likely cluster B of ground truth. In the same way, we find the intersections between the algorithmic cluster 2 and each ground truth cluster. Then we find the intersections between cluster 3 of the algorithm and each cluster of ground truth. We have the numerator, the denominator is total number of data points, which is 14 because our clustering outcome has 14 cells. Also, our ground truth has 14 cells. The number of cells in both algorithmic labels and ground truth labels must be the same, of course. Taking the max for each algorithmic cluster, we have 3 plus 4 plus 2, the numerator is 9. Therefore, the purity of the clustering outcome of this example is 9 divided by 14 equals 0 0.642857. Make sure to watch the video on RAND index. While RAND index is relevant to purity, it is quite a different clustering evaluation technique. Thank you for watching.